So we'll use the Deer Hunter data to look at the chi-square test for two-way tables. This is a really important significance test, especially when you're dealing with categorical data. So the chi-square test is a measure of how far the observed counts are from those expected counts. In this case, the observed represents an observed cell count. That is, we could say deer hunters who harvested a deer on public lands. The expected counts represent the expected count for the same cell, and the sum is over all of the cells in the table. And so in a two-way table, we have R times C, number of cells. That is the number of rows times the number of columns. And so our chi-squared statistic is going to be the sum of all of the observed values minus the expected values squared, and that's where the chi-square comes from, and we divide that by the expected value. And so we're going to get a number when we calculate this chi-squared statistic. Now what about the distribution of chi-square? This is a new distribution we haven't seen before. It always has positive values between 0 and infinity. It's skewed to the right. It has a number of degrees of freedom, the number of rows minus 1 times the number of columns minus 1. We can think about the p-value is always going to be the area to the right side of the test statistic that we calculate. So when those observed counts are very different from the expected counts, you're going to get a large value of chi-squared. You're going to be way over here on the tail of the distribution with a really big value for chi-squared. And in that case, you would favor to reject a null hypothesis. If those observed and expected counts are very close, you'll have a small value of chi-squared. And in that case, you would probably have evidence to favor the null hypothesis, or you would fail to reject the null hypothesis. What about the assumptions of a chi-square? The first thing is that it's a simple random sample. And so in our example of going back to the deer hunters, maybe we're ra randomly sampling people. Maybe we don't want to sample people that were in the same hunting party, because people in the same hunting party might have had similar experiences with their hunt uh, and hunted in the same areas as people uh, in the party. And so we need a simple random sample. Each subject falls into one and only one cell in the two-way table. There can't be any, uh, any movement across the different tables. Every observation falls within one cell. When we talk about chi-square distributions, the concept of conditional distributions is important. That is to say, uh, this describes a relationship between both variables. So when one variable is clearly explanatory, deer hunter success as an example, that describes a relationship by comparing the conditional distributions of the response variable for each level of the explanatory variable. That is the type of land, whether it's private or public land. And so here's how we might list the hypotheses for this chi-square test. Our null hypothesis is that deer hunter success and the type of land hunted public versus private, are independent. The alternative is that there is a relationship between deer hunter success and the type of land hunted, and whether that's public or private. What we first want to do is go back to the data and just calculate some simple summary statistics from it. We can calculate something like the table here, where we now just calculate everything as percentages. And so we can say from our data set, 5.4% of public land hunters harvested a deer. 34.6% of all land uh, or all deer hunters got a deer on private lands. And we might be able to summarize that in the graph that we see here. Uh, looking at all the people on public lands and all the people on private lands, in blue is the percentage that harvested a deer. In red are those percentages that did not. And so we can say that 20% uh, of public land hunters harvested a deer. Almost half of private land hunters harvested a deer. And so this is really what we're testing against in the chi-square test. So we can calculate the expected number of cell counts. So we'll start with private land hunters that harvested a deer. Again, we take the row column or sorry, the row total times the column total and divide that by n. 
where we had 220 people in that row for private lane hunters that harvested a deer, 400 people in that column, divided by 550, and that's 160. And so now we can calculate that for the other three options. That is, whether or not you hunted on public lands and got a deer, hunted on private lands, did not get a deer, hunted on public lands, did not get a deer. And so we can find all those expected values here just by looking up on the table. The last thing that we'll do, or the third thing, uh, is we'll calculate the chi-squared statistic by adding up all of the values from the four cells. And so again, remember the chi-squared statistic looks at the observed values and the expected values that we just calculated. And then it takes those values, squares them, and then divides by the expected value. And so that's what this last column is doing here in the table. When we add all those values up, we get 34.375. And so we can say the chi-square statistic is 34.375. For the deer hunter data, we need to find where that critical value is on the chi-square distribution. So to do that, we first need to find out what the degrees of freedom are. And then so for the deer hunter data, we just have two rows and two columns. And so we have one degree of freedom. And so we can say the test statistic has a chi-square with one degree of freedom. And so we can look to a chi-square table, just like we looked at a z-table, just like we looked at a t-table. And we're going to compare our test statistic to what we would expect with a distribution given one degree of freedom. From the chi-square table, we found that critical value of 12.12. So since our chi-square statistic of 34.375 is greater than 12.12, we can say that the p-value is less than 0 0.0005. And that's looking just where that value falls on the chi-square table. So what does that mean for our hypothesis test? We can say that we have evidence to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is strong evidence, chi-square equals 34.375 with one degree of freedom, with a p-value of less than 0 0.0005, that there's a relationship between deer hunter success and the type of land hunted, that is public versus private. And when it comes to describing the results from a chi-square test, I encourage you to use something like what's in this second paragraph here. This is how you might write it, say, in a scientific paper. Uh, we have evidence to reject the null hypothesis. There is strong evidence. Uh, that chi-square value is quite large at 34.375. So we're going to go through an example uh, using a survey that was conducted by the Pew Research Center uh, that asked about, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, does human activity contribute to climate change? Uh, and we have some great data here from the Pew Research Center. And we are going to conduct a chi-square test to find out whether or not their response to this question depends on one's political leaning. That is, uh, whether you're Republican or you lean Republican, or whether you're Democrat or lean Democrat. What you should notice right away is there appears to be differences. Uh, that is to say, this survey was conducted in April to May of 2020. Uh, what it says is about 22% of Republicans or those that lean Republican uh, think that U.S. adults say human activity contributes to climate change a great deal. 43% of Republicans lean Republicans say some. 35% uh, say not too much or not at all. But if you're a Democrat or you lean Democrat, 72% of them think that human activity contributes to climate change a great deal. 22% some and then 6% not too much or not at all. And so this is a great data set. We can think about this being a two-way table. So our two-way table is going to be political leaning, and it's going to be uh, the responses to this question. That is, does human activity contribute to climate change a great deal, some, not too much, or not at all? And so we'll go through this example and use a chi-square test to find the results. <laughs> 